Hey everybody, how's it going? As you know, last week I was at DEF CON, aka Hacker Summer Camp. It was a lot of fun, met a lot of amazing people, did some CTFs, I, you know, learned an amazing amount of things, of course, from different people sharing information, I taught a few things to different people as well, just in the hallway, hanging out, doing line con, things like that. But one of the things that I learned about was the new exploit for AMD CPUs that was revealed affecting all Ryzen, Threadripper, and Epic CPUs since 2006. That's right, 18 years of AMD CPUs. Uh, there's probably some other CPUs that were around that time. Was that the Athlon X and whatever series and all that? Either way, since 2006, 18 years of CPUs. It is being dubbed as Sync Close, or formerly known as CVE 2023-31. 315. And according to the National Vulnerability Database, it is a 7.5 out of 10 in the vulnerability severity scale. So quite a severe vulnerability. And um, you do not need physical access to machines in order to be able to exploit this. You do, however, require at least kernel level access, it seems. Now, don't get your, uh, don't relax right now and be like, whew. Just don't need to give kernel level access. Well, let's say there's software out there for games, I don't know, that happen to stop you from cheating. Like, I don't know, we call this like kernel level anti-cheat. I think there's a whole thing on TikTok that I've been railing against this stuff for years and that it opens a can of worms we don't need. And what happens if someone manages to write malware to exploit a kernel level anti-cheat? and then happens to also code it to specifically target AMD CPUs. This apparently is pretty severe enough that they're saying that uh, you can't really detect it. It's quite a bit of a doozy because of the vulnerability and how it works. Yeah, this is a big reason why I'm uh, not a proponent of kernel level anti-cheat and I am a proponent of server side anti-cheats and things like that. I know some people are going to, you know, get their panties in a bunch and say, we need kernel level anti-cheat to stop the, the cheaters. Well, unfortunately, cheaters are going to cheat. That's just how it works. Maybe developers should do a little bit better investing in server side technologies rather than opening up cans of worms like when Genshin Impact happened to have their kernel level anti-cheat compromised. I can't remember the specifics of that, but I remember Genshin Impact had an issue. Anyway, with that being said, there is an easy fix update your BIOS. Your BIOS can be updated to mitigate this issue, but there's a catch. It only has patches right now for Ryzen 3000, Epic and Threadripper, and newer. That's right. So you only can get updates for the past few years of CPUs. AMD needs to be nagged if you want to get anything newer than that patched. But for now, it looks like you just have to go to your manufacturer's website for your motherboard, update the BIOS for that. Make sure you back up your settings and everything like that. Maybe manually write down things uh, because it'll probably reset your fan curves, probably reset your overclocks and configuration settings, all of that. So bear that in mind. Um, so thankfully, there is an easy fix for this, um, just not for all the CPUs that are affected. Uh, so if you're running Ryzen 1000, 2000 series, you're kind of boned right now. But if you're running 3000 or later, you should be fine. Just update your BIOS. You'll be good to go. Um, but yeah, doesn't need physical level access. Does, doesn't need physical access. Doesn't, uh, it does require kernel level access. But um, again, there's a lot of softwares out there like antivirus, things like that, that do have kernel level access that can be potentially exploited to piggyback and install this kind of thing. So if you have an older system and you want to get it patched right now and you're thinking about building a new system, now's probably the time to pull that trigger because there's no guarantee that AMD is going to patch older systems than Ryzen 3000. We can nag them as much as we want, but it's up to their discretion whether they want to release the patches that the motherboard manufacturers can then apply. Anyway, stay safe out there. Happy hacking. See y'all later. Patch those systems. Vulnerability management out.